Hey guys and gals and aliens and other people out in outer space. Welcome back to Gamer Treasures. I'm doing a quick follow-up on the um, War of the Spark debacle on eBay on the Mythic Edition boxes. Um, I just got an email back, so I'm going to go over this, and then I'm going to call live eBay and see what they tell me here. Um, I sent them an email after I'd sent them a message originally uh, uh, on the first day. I think it was Wednesday last week. I sent them a message around 3... Um, 310 something like that to ask what was going on and never got a response to that um, and then when they sent out the original message pretty much saying that you know we're sorry we made a mistake you guys got screwed there was a link to contact them below so I sent them another message to customer service at HasbroToyShop.com and you can see I sent that on Friday May 3rd it's Tuesday they finally got back to me it only took them uh, well two business days so that's not too bad, actually. But here's the questions I sent in. Ha Hello, I know you guys may be extremely busy from the issue that happened on eBay the other day regarding War of the Spark Mythic Edition. I messaged you guys on eBay during the issue to try and find out what was going on to no available reply. Here's my personal experience, and I'm trying to find out if all the orders are getting canceled or, ju or just not the first 12,000. Here are my orders when placed. 3.02 p.m. This is last Wednesday, so this was like uh, 2.02 their time or whatever. It was like two minutes after they went on sale. Um, at two minutes after they went on sale, my order was processed. However, five minutes later, the order showed as payment pending or insufficient. My order um, went through when the eBay counter had 8,000 orders sold total. Um, at 3.09 everyone realized there's an issue with the order processing and everyone decided to reorder because they came back available online I ordered again two more boxes at 15,000 sold on the counter and then at 315 um, after the, there was a rumor going around that we could order more boxes and that they were gonna do a print to demand uh, so I ordered six more boxes when the eBay counter was at 30,000 plus I actually think it's at 32,000 if I remember right but you know regardless that number doesn't really matter a whole lot uh, I got the one email from eBay Hasbro today saying that my order has been canceled, but was it for the second time I ordered at 3.09? I'm just curious if all three of my orders are getting canceled or if the one I placed at the eBay counter was at below 8,000 units will still be fulfilled. Any more information would be very helpful. Thanks, Sean Cabral. Uh, and they finally got back to me, and it's another generic I don't care about you message. Uh, very horrible customer service. I mean, at least they sent me a message, but they could have just said, talk to a brick wall and it would have been the same outcome. Uh, thank you for reaching out to us regarding the Magic the Gathering War of the Spark Mythic Edition. We are extremely disappointed in the poor experience you had. eBay is managing all cancellations and refunds. We wanted to reiterate everyone who received a cancellation, domestic and global, will get 100% full refund, including shipping, tax, and international fees. We will have an update with more information uh, soon. Uh, we greatly appreciate your business. If you have any additional questions, contact Customer Service Center via blah, 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 or a phone number, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to call this phone number and see if I can talk to somebody and get some more information from them. So kind of on a side, side note, they oversold roughly about 40000 of these boxes at $250 a box, plus possible sales tax and what other other fees, if there's international fees or whatever, which equates to $10 million. Um, uh, one of my refunds says it's pending till May 9th, um, which is a, let me see, from from the 1st to the 9th is uh, eight days or a full week. Um, so they're collecting, somebody's collecting, I don't know if it's PayPal, eBay, Hasbro, they're collecting daily interest on 10 million extra dollars that wasn't initially theirs, which could equate somewhere between probably about fifteen hundred to five thousand dollars a day was a, a guesstimate I ran through a couple of daily interest calculators um, so um, curious if they're just using that money to give us the gift cards or if they're keeping it or what's going on there kind of just one of those what if type things um, the other thing is is they don't reply to messages and actually read your emails because if they would have read my email that it would have been um, more direct to the questions that I had asked and not just some generic email. So let's go ahead and call them up live and I'm going to put my phone on speakerphone and just see what they say.
Hi, Jason. My name is Sean Cabral, and um, I'm recording this conversation as well. I have to tell you that. Um, I just was calling in. I had a couple more questions. I had tried contacting a couple different times, and the only thing I got was generic responses about the uh, Mythic Edition boxes that went on sale last Wednesday that there was an issue with. Okay, not a problem. Yep. Hey, no problem. Well, I was just trying to find out what had happened. So initially, um, I did send an email to the uh, to Hasbro on eBay. I don't know if that's the same thing you manage last Wednesday. So when everything went on sale, it was crazy, and I understand that basically it just couldn't handle the volume of what had happened. Um, I had originally ordered the the two boxes at at two minutes after. And my order had went through, and I took screenshots of that, and I sent it in a message to the Hasbro toy shop. But then five minutes later, it said your payment could not be processed or something generic like that, that my payment was invalid even though I had money and everything. So I sent just a message to find out what was going on. And then about seven minutes later, they relisted the listing, and you could reorder. So I thought there was an issue because it didn't charge me sales tax on the first the first time I ordered. Um, so I thought that's what the issue was. So I reordered two boxes again. And then after that, I was told about 10 minutes later that they put the listing back up. So then I ordered six more boxes because there was no limit, like limit two, like the first two listings had, which it was supposed to be. So and at that time, no one really knew what was going on. Um, so I, I've only gotten one message from you guys saying, hey, we made a mistake. You got, We're not sending out these boxes. You'll be refunded, yada, yada, yada. That's no big deal. But it didn't say which order because I have three different orders and I have two refunds pending, and then the first payment doesn't even show in my history at all. So I was just trying to find out exactly what had happened and if I'm actually getting a fulfillment or not. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but the email you're referring to uh, that stated that uh, the orders would not be, or the order would not be fulfilled uh, started with something, with the subject line of uh, your Magic the Gathering order, correct? Um. No, I'm trying to, I mean, I just got an email from you guys today after my second attempt to contact you, but it was just a generic email with this contact information to call in. Okay, I understand. I do apologize, unfortunately, we have been dealing with some high call and email volume. Oh, I understand. Um, with the subject line, your Magic the Gathering order, stating that the order was canceled. Uh, unfortunately, that would indicate that the, all the orders were canceled, that none of the orders were, that, or none of the orders were considered as successful. Okay. Um, what I can do is I can try and search your uh, email address in our system to see whether or not uh, the orders come up and whether or not it indicates if it was successful or not. Okay. Uh, but unfortunately, that's only as far as what our system shows. That may not necessarily be uh, completely indicative of uh, the actual situation. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what's the email address you used when you placed your order? It's uh, boost, B O O S T. The letter N is in Nancy. T O F U at gmail.com. Uh, 
junk and spam mail filters as uh, and as well as your promotional folder uh, in your inbox. So I do know a couple of customers who receive the email in the promotional folder. Okay, no, I, I got the email. I got one email initially saying we couldn't complete your order, but it didn't say which one. Right. Um, unfortunately, from what I can see in here, I do see two separate orders, one for six units, one for two orders, uh, or two units, and it does look like both orders were canceled. Okay. Um, we do apologize about that. No, um, I understand that. I understand. Like, I actually had ordered at 3.02, two minutes after, but there's uh -huh. no history. It doesn't show in my eBay or PayPal, but I have screenshots of it. Uh, because that's when I originally sent out my first email. Is that going to do anything for me, or is it just I'm screwed? Unfortunately, sir, I do apologize. The, the, the best thing that I can, uh, the only thing that I can comment now at, at this time is that uh, the units have been sold out. Okay. Uh, and unfortunately, we would not be able to place any additional orders. No, I point. understand. I just I don't know why the f initial order didn't get re get you know placed. I, and I know it's because of volume. Um, yeah. Do you know what they're going to, are they going to, if they sell this product in the future, do you know what they're going to do to kind of combat this so it doesn't happen again? I know it's happened two or three times in the past now, a similar issue. Are they working on something to change that in the future? We are working on ideas to, to try and resolve uh, or prevent these kind of uh, events from happening again in the future. Uh, and if you have any recommendations, we can definitely pass it along to our senior management. Uh, unfortunately, I don't believe that there are any specific plans at the moment, but we are looking into different options. Okay. Well, I guess you answered as many questions as you could. I, I realize you guys don't have a lot of info, and they're not really giving out a whole lot of info. Uh, do you know why it's taken them over a week to process refunds? I don't, unfortunately. Uh, I do apologize about that. To the best information that I've been provided is that eBay was handling the cancellations and refunds for this. I do know some customers are saying that eBay is saying contradictory information. Um, unfortunately, I can only provide the information that I've been provided. Okay. Um, I do know that sometimes it does take a while for not just the institution that accepted the payment in the first place uh, to process or refund, but also for the institution that would be accepting the refund to, to process it as well. Um, so that may also be uh, a, a contributing factor to it. Okay. Uh, but we are trying to get the, refund, the orders refunded as soon as possible. Okay. That's all the questions I really had. I appreciate your time. No, that's it. Alrighty. All right. If you do have any other questions, definitely feel free to reach back out to us. Okay, have a good day. You too, sir. Take All right. care. Bye. So as we see, they were very combative. Um, they didn't really answer the questions that I had. You, you've got to consider that um, this person, you know, this is just a customer service employee, probably making the minimum of, you know, probably less than $15 an hour, maybe, maybe more than that, depending. But, you know, most call centers and stuff, they pay 11 12 13 14 15 an hour, something like that. It's very rare you see him get paid more than that. So this guy was just trying to do the best job that he could with whatever information he had while also watching what he said because I told him I was, uh, you know, recording the telephone conversation, um, which is fine. Uh, you know, I wasn't trying to get anyone in trouble or anything. You can't, you can't sue over something like this anyways, not even a class action lawsuit because um, I went through and read the eBay terms in agreement by using their platform. You agree basically not to sue them or any sellers that sell on their platform, and you agree to have any litigation done through arbitrage directly with eBay at your cost and their cost. So like basically if you're paying a lawyer, you're paying for your lawyer and eBay's paying for their lawyer and they sit down in a room and they talk about what's fair and what's not fair and then they agree to whatever they agree to and then everything's done outside of the court. Um, I, could, I could be a little wrong on how arbitration works, but basically by using eBay, you agree to do that. So you can't do anything about it. I'm not trying to sue anyone or anything, but I looked into it just to see because it's crazy. The main thing that upset me is that they're holding our money for a week with no answer to why they're holding our money through a week. Uh, they're saying payment processors take so long, yada, yada, yada. However, a small seller like myself or you know maybe something that's a little bigger like maybe Kid Icarus or Dan Bach or whoever it is, if we get a return or an issue gets placed and we don't have the product, 
we have to issue a refund right then and there and our customer is going to get it with no like it's like 24 hours tops most of the time maybe two days i've never seen that though and refunds usually get processed i think they're 48 hours on ebay if you have an automatic refund or return shipping like it automatically gets taken out of your account you don't i mean you can't stall that for a week so that's really strange to me um I mean, you heard uh, the guy from eBay. I think he did a good job. He was just doing his job. You know, I'm not going to blame him or anything. It's just kind of crazy uh, that my first order, they're basically saying never existed, even though I have screenshots of it, um, which let me see if I still have them here. Um, wait, that's not it. Um Yeah, I mean, I have it here, but it's not going to matter um, because the time stands like after 310. Um, but I guess that's a little more information. I guess you, you guys are just stuck waiting for your money back. Uh, essentially, what he said is if you had multiple orders and you got the email saying your order was not going to be fulfilled, your that's for all your orders. So that's one thing I learned that they couldn't tell me in an email um, from a direct question that I asked them twice. Um, so it's whatever, you know. Um, and they said they're working on ways to correct it in the future if they do that and senior management would be open to doing it like you know the easiest way to do it is you put something up on your website some kind of payment processing thing you place an order and email gets in and then that email gets processed one at a time um, you know that would be a way to do it um, do some kind of mail away thing where you have to mail in by a certain time to get your order processed and then do the print run after that's been done there's all kinds of ways and there's simpler ways to do it it's just ebay couldn't handle the volume for it is all that it is and no one wants to point the finger at the other person it's ebay's fault because they couldn't process that many orders within that amount of time um, or the listing was faulty when the listing went up and then maybe you would, could point the finger at somebody else if it's some because like I said the first time I ordered it in charge sales tax and that order doesn't exist anywhere except for on my screenshots that I had um, at the 8,000 counter so it's whatever um, but hopefully you guys get some more information you don't have to call them up if you got the same info and you're wanting to know more I mean you heard it from him um, so I um, appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to have War of the Spark box openings. I've got oh, this bad boy right here. Oh, shit. It's heavy. Um, and I have more um, pre-release kit openings that will have uh, MTG Arena draft codes that you guys can use as well. If you guys have any questions um, or just have a comment about that phone call in the email, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys actually got boxes and when you ordered because I'd be curious on that because I ordered at two minutes after and I didn't get anything. So it's whatever. You just can't trust them in the future if they do a Mythic Edition thing without changing the whole process of what they're doing. And uh, last time I checked, they are selling for about $1,000 a box online on eBay, um, which is crazy. I thought they might go for like 500 or something, but $1,000 is just nuts. I'd burn them for that much. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching. Come back again. We'll have some good pack openings and have a great week.